Robin Williams touched many people along the way, including a group of Hoosier firefighters. The Night Beats Emily Longnecker are here now with a story of an impromptu private show and the impression it made in Indiana. Yeah, Williams came to uh, Purdue in 2008, John, to perform at Elliott Hall, but it was the unexpected performance he gave to some firemen that those men say they will never forget. If, if you wish anything, you know, he's, he's in a better place. I've never had an entire audience just go, forget you! It still seems unbelievable. A man who made America laugh until they were in tears. Robin Williams, a comedic icon, is gone. Well, he's, he's incredible. The man is about as quick witted as, as I've ever met. Purdue's assistant fire chief Kevin Clark and some other Purdue firemen came face to face with Williams on the tarmac of the university's airport when the comedian landed there six years ago to perform for students at Elliott Hall. The firemen were there doing emergency training. I said, guys, this is, this is, this is Robin Williams coming. They said, no. Sure enough, though, it was. He looked over and didn't hesitate, just, just almost jogged over towards us and introduced himself. He thanked us for our service. He, he says he greatly appreciates what we do here. There was no airs about him. He was just one of the guys. One of the guys who treated the firemen to an impromptu show right there. There, he just kind of like went off into like a 20 minute little little skit there and had us almost in tears crying. And he'd throw out lines, have you laugh, and then somebody would try to come back with a comeback. And the second you, you finish what you were saying, bam, he's back at you again. You're like, wow. Regrettably, none of the firemen have a picture of that incredible chance encounter. There's a bunch of guys that carry their cell phones, and you would have thought somebody that day would have grabbed a picture. Of all times, no one snapped a picture of it. But Clark says the crew is still talking about it, especially now with William's passing. This is a, a man that was so creative and loved by so many people who will be missed. Missed for the tears of laughter Williams gave so many that have now turned to tears of sorrow at a comedic genius gone too soon. So he probably has all his friends up there now laughing. Yeah, and Assistant Chief Clark says it's still hard to believe that Williams is gone, but he says he'll never forget just how down to earth he was, John, and, and, and how hard he made those firemen laugh that day on that tarmac. It was just an incredible moment, he said. So. All right. Well, that's All a right. great story. Thank you, Emily. Okay. And we have much more information about Robin Williams online. You can go to WTHR.com for more memories of his life and that important information about suicide prevention. You can also share your comments by joining the conversation on the WTHR Facebook page. The Ontario County New York Sheriff says it could be weeks before investigators finish their probe into a fatal racing accident involving NASCAR driver Tony Stewart. Stewart was in a sprint car race last weekend when his car hit and killed another driver. The investigation into the death of Kevin Ward Jr. of Lewis County is ongoing and is expected to continue for at least another two weeks or more. Investigators continue to seek witnesses, gather evidence, and develop the racetrack crash reconstruction. Police say no evidence has turned up so far that would indicate criminal intent in the accident. Funeral services for Kevin Ward Jr. will be on Thursday morning. An accident on Indy's west side left one car damaged and another without a wheel. A wheel came loose from a southbound car on I-465 near Rockville Road. It crossed the median and hit a northbound car. The woman in the car hit by the tire ended up with minor injuries. Paramedics treated her at the scene and the driver of the other car ran away. Investigators say fire and smoke damaged a long side east side business. It happened at J Farmer Realtors in the 1300 block of North Shadeland Avenue. Firefighters say it may have started when part of a plastic ceiling collapsed, exposing the wiring underneath. The building owner also stored several gas cans in the area, and the fumes from the water heater may have sparked the fire. No one was hurt, though, fighting those flames. And Franklin police say they have arrested a convenience store clerk who they say staged a robbery. 22-year-old Joel Glassburn said he was robbed by a man with a gun on Thursday. He said the man took money and cigarettes and ran off. But after officers went to the Admiral Petroleum on West Jefferson Street, they discovered Glassburn may have been in on it. They say he even stole cash deposits from the convenience store earlier that night. Police are working on getting an arrest warrant for his alleged accomplice.